If students are hungry, or have a sibling who is in the hospital, or were unable to sleep last night because their parents were arguing the entire night, or any number of factors that might impact students' ability to focus. Think about how that impacts their ability to learn, or to create. Now look at other educators. Think about some of your colleagues or even yourself. What happens when your car breaks down and you're like an hour late to work? Or maybe you got into an argument with your significant other, and it was unresolved because you went to work. All of those things that you might be thinking about in the background are going to have an impact on how you teach. You your attention is going to be elsewhere and is not going to be on teaching to the best of your abilities. So if as educators, we can talk about how you develop that focus. Again, maybe it's a ritual like listening to a specific playlist before you start teaching to get yourself into a mindset. Or maybe it's just the parasympathetic breathing that I mentioned in between each one of the lessons or in between students, just kind of mentally reset. Okay, now I'm ready to go again. But what approaches do you use to focus? Let me know in the comments. One of the ones that I personally use is meditation or attention training, as I like to call it, where I will often just focus on an object to just like look at it or just listen or just feel the sensations in my body. Like what does my circulation feel like, etc. There are so many different ways to meditate. It's not just about clearing your mind, but some of them are about like just focusing on your breathing. What does it feel like going in and out of your nose? What temperature is it? Is it cooler when it goes in or is it cooler when it goes out, etc. This excerpt of the CSK8 podcast was from episode 201, which is titled The Making of an Educator Athlete. You can listen to the full episode as well as hundreds more by searching for the CSK8 podcast on your favorite podcast app or by going to jaredoleary.com.